Greetings, my name is Mariana Garcia and welcome to another lecture from the 2020 Honors Chemistry Short Lecture Series. Did you know that it's possible for tiny robots to get in your body and deliver the medications that it needs? Although it may sound like science fiction, it's actually a very real thing. In today's lecture, I will be talking about nanobots and mothbots that allow medications to be delivered to specific parts of the body where the medication is needed and about the technology behind it and how it could potentially change the future of chemistry and medicine. Today's lecture will be on drug delivery nanorobots. My presentation will consist of a summary of a CNN article. I will talk about what MOFs are, how MOFs work, nanorobots, drug delivery, the importance of using this technology, the future using this technology, and a conclusion. After reading the CNEN article, I came across some very important points. These metal organic frameworks, also known as MOFs, could be a way of carrying therapeutic drugs to precise areas where they're needed in living tissue. These micro robots are propelled by the oxygen bubbles that are produced as hydrogen peroxide is being broken down by the bots. These MOFs are made from metal based nodes and are connected by organic struts and are incredibly porous which allows them to be loaded up with medicines. It has been proven to be a rather tricky procedure due to how difficult it is to move them around in a controlled way. When they were being tested, the mothbots were steered around a group of breast cancer cells in a Petri dish, and a fluorescence imaging confirmed that the molecules were taken up by the cancer cells. Drug molecules can also be attached to helical swimmers using organic linkers and are designed to release a drug once they meet a specific enzyme. But propelling them into the body could cause other problems, such as blocking of blood vessels and could even damage healthy tissue. The solution to this is to make the whole bot biodegradable so that it actually dissolves once it's done with its job. But they're actually showing great potential to be used as drug delivery systems. According to the CNE article, mothbots could carry drugs to specific targets in the body. Now let's talk about what these moths actually are. So, what exactly are moths? Moths are metal organic frameworks that are made up of two different components, metal atoms and organic linkers. These components are then put together in a mixture of reactants, and they are able to find each other to self-assemble and create a repeating cage-like structure. They are programmed in a way that enables them to come together in a specific manner. Moths are actually extremely porous and have a lot of empty space, which is beneficial for storing large amounts of gases and other kinds of materials. They are often compared to a sponge because of its cavities, and the ways that it can absorb liquids. The only thing is, is that a sponge is not in uniform composition like the composition of a moth. With moths, you are able to control the structure and the cage by making it larger or smaller according to what you're trying to put inside of it. Scientists are able to make it the way that they need the moths to work. Moths are super ideal structures and are utilized in a variety of ways, from gas capture, storage, and separation, to optoelectronics and electrochemical applications. So, on that note, how do mothbots work? Mothbots work in many different ways. Moths are able to corkscrew through water. They swim their way through tracks that were designed under the weak control of magnetic fields. They could be used for many different applications, such as drug delivery, environmental remediation, and nanosurgery. Since they have many different functions, MOFs can achieve many complex jobs that real people would probably take a much longer time to complete. These MOFs are able to store and separate gases. What that means is that the gas that is in them is stored and later separated at a specific temperature. Nanobots are tiny robots that can do anything that they are programmed to do, such as kill cancer cells, deliver drugs to targeted tissues, and even improve vaccines. Nanotechnology has enabled scientists to use nanoscale materials, including biocompatible nanoparticles and nanobots in medicine. Nanobots are especially useful in treating diseases such as cancer, 
where specific cells have to be targeted. Drugs delivered through nanorobots are far more effective than drugs delivered normally. These devices are inserted into the bloodstream and are sent to where they are needed. They are a really good way to treat illnesses that have a more difficult and complex treatment. Nanomachines provide the ability to monitor the internal chemistry of the body's organs, allowing access to specific diseased areas. Nanobots can be equipped with wireless transmitters, which allows doctors to change a treatment method if the patient's medical condition worsens. They are controlled by being planted into a patient's nervous system to monitor pulse and brain wave activities and are able to control the drug and the rate at which the drug is delivered. Nanobots are a beneficial way of drug delivery, which brings us to our next slide, drug delivery. Drug delivery systems are the different ways that the body can get the medications that it needs. The form of drug delivery is dependent on the medication, the way that it's delivered, and the way that the body will respond. Each method of drug delivery has its advantages and disadvantages, and they can't just be used with anything. Drug delivery using nanorobots could be one of the most effective ways. Using this method, you have the advantages of having a more effective procedure and the chances of possible side effects are relatively low. Since the tiny nanoparticles particles are taken up by the cells because of how small they are, rather than using larger molecules. These nanorobots are programmed so that they are attracted to the specific disease cells. This is so that the bot is able to go exactly where it needs to go once it's entered the body. Although the chances of side effects are low, it is very possible to have blocked blood vessels, damage healthy tissue, and it could even cause other bigger problems. Drug delivery is actually very difficult to master, but it plays a very important role in chemistry and medicine. So, why is it important to use this technology? Well, to start off, using this technology gives scientists, doctors, and patients hope and a more effective way to treat and be treated. Drug delivery is essential for the treatment of chronic conditions. Drug delivery devices offer direct delivery to where the medication is needed. It also improves the outcomes of the treatment and reduces major side effects, which is really good. This kind of technology offers new and faster kinds of computers, more effective power sources, and life-saving medical treatments. Since mobs could be used in many different ways, they are very useful in many fields and they allow those fields to have a very bright future. Now, let's talk about the future. In the future, this technology could be even more than what it is today. In a few years from now, nanobots could act as tiny doctors in your body and it will come in really handy for doctors and patients. These bots could be implanted in your body and capture information that will allow the doctors to diagnose and personalize treatment. With this technology, doctors would be able to treat illnesses that aren't so easy to treat. They could also even be used for healing purposes. Their structures will even have the potential to allow materials to heal when damaged. For example, Dispersing nanoparticles throughout a material means that they can migrate to fill in any cracks that appear. This could produce self-healing materials for everything. With this technology, many things would be different, yet so beneficial. Nanotechnology gives us a bright future to look forward to. In today's lecture, we talked about some important information, but we discussed some key points. Moths. Metal organic frameworks are made up of metal ions and organic linkers which form a cage-like structure. And due to their hollow structure, they are able to store and separate gases. These moths could be a form of drug delivery and are actually quite promising. We also talked about the different applications of these moths. These can also be filled with medications and used as drug delivery systems. Nanorobots offer huge advantages in drug delivery and using these tiny robots is the best way to deliver drugs in the body. Finally, drug delivery plays a crucial role in disease treatment and it continues to be a challenge. This concludes my drug delivery nanorobots lecture. These are my citations. And here are my photo credits.